So, um, while we let people do that and sort out getting their donor accounts and everything, Phil, do you want to walk us through what it is they will be bidding on? Right. I noticed the local time is actually 1337 there. How's that for a coincidence? Ooh. <laughs> okay. So, one of the things I do is um, I'm fascinated by astronomy and geology, and the way you combine those is with meteorites and asteroid impacts. I've always been interested in those. And a few years ago, I started collecting meteorites, and these are actual rocks or chunks of metal from space that fall through the Earth's atmosphere and hit the ground. Um, there are some relatively famous ones uh, that you can you can find in various places, and um, I've got a few, I've got a handful of them, but I have here. I can get this into the camera where you can see it, just like that. This is a chunk of iron that fell from space in 1947 and landed in eastern Russia uh, in the Sokotyaline Hills, I believe they're called, in the mountains out there. And uh, it was actually a chunk of iron roughly the size of a school bus. Now, we have standard unit sizes for meteorites. They are grain of sand, grape, grapefruit, or softball. Uh, beach ball, lounge chair, school bus, house, and then holy crap, we're all going to die. <laughs> science journalism, at least, for asteroid impacts. This one was about the size of a school bus. It was, it was ramming through the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, you know, it's coming in at like 50 times the speed of a rifle bullet. It's really streaming in. It rams through the Earth's atmosphere. The pressure, it's, it's complicated, but the pressure basically breaks apart the asteroid very rapidly. It explodes, and this one exploded into two pieces. There was a, uh, it, it, it separated. One of them just shattered, and those pieces tumbled down to the earth. And, and they kept, uh, as they tumbled, they got all these crazy shapes. The bigger chunk got a little bit lower, and then it blew up. And what happened there is that those pieces didn't have enough time to fall through the air and get these really weird sort of what you might think of as meteoroid shapes. What they look like is shrapnel. If you picture Bugs Bunny sticking his finger in a gun. Right, and then boom, gun blows up. That's what you get, and that's what this is. This is a chunk of iron. I'll put it up to the camera again, and it really, um, it really does look like shrapnel. It's, it's torn apart. There are those, uh, there are stress lines on it on the other other side here, and it's about um, two centimeters long, an inch long, and it weighs. I don't know. I didn't weigh it, but it's something like between five and ten grams. If you you're curious. This is an actual meteorite. It fell from space. Um, that is one half of this auction. That's I amazing. will have a one-page write-up that I will send, that I will, I will sign and send to you that I wrote up describing the meteorite. Uh, so that helps too. The other thing is a tech titan. This is actually a little bit harder to see because it's so dark. And I'm looking for the uh, the feed on my browser to come up there. Which up there we go. See that? This is tech titan. It's actually a piece of glass. You have a larger asteroid impact where the thing is still really screaming in when it hits the ground. It hits with enough energy that it dumps a huge amount of heat into the ground and it fuses the sand and the dirt and everything into glass. And that blo those blobs of molten glass go up way up into the air, miles and miles up, and they fall back down. As they fall, they're tumbling and they cool and they form all these weird shapes, these elongated shapes. And so this glass is black. It's a little bit translucent at the edges. If you shine a really powerful light through it, you'll, you'll see that. And it's covered in um, little bubbles where gas bubbles inside were, were bursting as it was cooling. So it's, it's, those are called vesicles, which sounds nasty. But there you go. And so you can see this is about the same size as the meteorite. And ta -da, it's about an inch long. It's very lightweight because it's very light glass. So it's not like the iron. Um, but although it didn't come from space, it was formed because of something coming from space, so it's still pretty cool. And those are the two items that I have for someone who's a lucky winner on the prize. Is right. That's amazing. Yeah. That is really, really That's cool. Really when cool. did yeah. When did you say that meteorite hit? 47. 47. Okay, so so not as someone in the chat was hoping related to the Tunguska no, event. That's really <laughs> Tunguska was in 1908. Yeah. Correct. And it wasn't hugely far away. I don't know exactly the distance, but you know, it's the same region of the world. That was a big old chunk of rock that came in. That was a house sized meteor. That was 30 meters or so across. Well, how appropriate that this piece of iron came from one the size of a bus. Oh. 
think that's, that's that is pretty apropos. So, for a meteorite, actual chunk of iron shrapnel from space, and a tektite formed by the impact of space energy upon our planet, let us begin the biddening. Open the bids on the on this auction. 50, 300, 761. Giant rocks from space. We. <laughs> Eight hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars. Excellent. Looks like we're at one thousand dollars. Oh, we're getting old. Ow. That did escalate quickly, as it should. Thirteen thirty-seven. Thirteen thirty-seven. I better tweet this. Fourteen hundred. Sorry. No, it's okay. Go for it. Actual rocks from space. Well, space. rock from space and rock formed. Rock formed by rock from space. 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 Fourteen fifty from Invariel. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. 1475 from Space Corps. 1500. 1500 from the tiny ghost of Emily Carr. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fill you in on that one. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> I'm surprising this one too, so that you can have a description of meteorite impacts and all that. Oh, oh great. Cool. Or what happened to the dinosaurs? This comes with a description of, uh, like, uh, Phil will do a one pager on. What 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 exactly you're getting? It comes with science. It comes with science. 1550. Yes, 1550. 1550 from Lord Hosk. Extra science added. I don't know if you guys can see me. Let me see where's yep. my feet. Here, I'll throw in another copy of the book. Woo! And Phil's book as well. The first chapter of this book is all about asteroid impacts and uh, why the dinosaurs had a really sucky day yeah. 63 million years ago. <laughs> All right, Lord Hosk currently lead. No, Invariel, fifteen seventy-five. Dang. Rocks from space. Rocks from space. Oh. Invariel steps up. Seems like Invariel and Lord Hosk are having a real back and forth. Once again, if you are new to bid, you type slash bid and the number you wish to bid. Sixteen hundred dollars from the tiny ghost of Emily Carr. A stack of bills taller than I am. <laughs> she, she or he or whoever says. Ooh. I have a feeling like a lock of Will Wheaton's hair would go for like six grand. <laughs> <laughs> so sixteen hundred dollars is the current leading bid. Huh. But there's several other bidders who could still be in this. Oh man. Everyone's looking at their wallets. Oh, 1610 from Lord Hosk. Oh. Stack of bills twice as tall as Little or Lady Hosk. Oh. With this chunk of rock, you can A lock of Will's right. beard, someone says. Ew. Ew. It's really gross. <laughs> you can paste googly eyes on it. Oh. What would be the next geeky number after this? You'll appreciate we did a giveaway the other day based on Planck's number, as I yeah, recall. Pl Planck's constant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody used pi. All right. I guess pi over two is already we're past that. Um, e is two point seven. Square root of two is one point seven. Oh, is that right? No, square root of two is one. One point four. That's right. Um. I think we can go ahead and call See, going you, once on this. Very good, I smart man. Very good. Lord Hosk leading with one thousand six hundred and ten dollars. Only once. For an actual rock from space. Which are not that easy to get. Oh, six yeah. boxer oh. rocks. A new challenger appears. Sixteen fifty. Sounds like he may already have some of these. <laughs> boxer rock. <laughs> True. That seems like an appropriate appropriate name. Three. Oh, yes, good call. A bid of 1947 would be appropriate. Oh. Oh, there you go. I'm pretty sure it's 1947. I don't think it's 1948. It's 1947. Tiny Ghost of Emily. 1691 for the Tiny Ghost of Emily Carr. Still in the game. I can now let's see. Sikoti Aline Meteorite. Another bid. Let's keep this thing we saw on Skype. I actually have a link to these meteorites on the blog today. I put a picture oh, if people want to see them. If you go to Slate.com and then look for the Bad Astronomy blog to see it. 
Uh, yeah, February 12th, 1947. All right, Jeez. so Tiny Ghost of Emily Carr is currently leading the bidding. Is Lord Husk still in it? Is Boxer Rocks in it? Whoa. Tiny Ghost Whoa. of Emily Carr has just space bid themselves to 1701. Boxer Rocks, Boxer Rocks is definitely still in it, jumping it up to 1750. You know, a good bid, the 1801, which is the year the first asteroid was discovered, Ceres. On January 1st, 1801, by Piazza in Italy. There you go. That's the sort of thing floating around in my head. How do you like that? <laughs> so we're at 1750, but can we get to 1801, Discovery of the First Asteroid? Let's find out. It looks like Box of Rocks has a need for more rocks, Burma Shit. series is going to be there in a couple of years called the Dawn Mission. I can talk about this stuff all day long. It's the same name as one of our previous drivers. Yeah. All right, we will call going once. Oh. Haven't seen any bidding happen lately. There. there. Going once to Boxer Rocks. Who wants more rocks for his box? They're coming right at you. Ah! <laughs> oh no! It's like a really nice. One thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars to Boxer wow. Rocks. We have gone once. We will take it slow though. There's quite a delay. Uh, want to make sure everyone gets their chance, but I think that we will take it to going twice Ooh, to Box of Rocks for $1,750. Now is the time to take the shot. Snipers, if you want to bid on this and you have not done so, now is the only time to do it. Tiny little car. It's fun watching this go by. <laughs> <laughs> Boxer Rocks has had it once. Boxer Rocks has had it twice. Sold to Boxer Rocks. Yeah. Holy, holy, holy! Wow. What an auction! Wow. That's fantastic. Oh, Phil. Thank you. Well played, everyone. Well played. Well played. Well, well played.